Hello folks and welcome back to Vinci Survival. Here we are on Zelanka. And yeah, we're in July. We've been busy doing some contract work, that's why now we're up to just under 55 grand. So first of all we're starting off with 70x because we've got a premium sell price for these. And yeah. At the moment requested almost 4,000 euros for these eggs. So yeah, we're going to sell those, and then I've done the harvesting on 87 in between episodes. And yeah, really the only plans we're doing in this episode is merging the fields together. And also, got some grain. So I'm thinking putting down a windmill at some point. But yeah, let's go and get these eggs sold. So, tax place. It's this place here, so should get a decent amount of profit from these. Look at money shooting up. And we should have about 80,000. No, sorry, 75,000. Oh, actually, no, actually, almost 80,000, but yeah, 24 and a half grand for those eggs, so not too bad. They've been waiting for a few months. So yeah, now that's all that's sorted. Let's head back to the farm and start prepping for getting the fields merged together. So there we go, back at the farm. And yep, yeah, much about the windmill because we've got 80,000 80, thousand litres of wheat, 72 of barley, with additional 3,000 litres of barley and 70,700 of wheat. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, so overall, barley wise, just under 3,000 litres. And wheat, 17,000 litres. And we also have 29,000 litres of sorghum. 2,500 litres of that was from contract on 58. So that's all what I had left over, so I thought keep those for now. And yeah, the other 27,000 was from. 87. So yeah, we need to start merging these fields together. And what is in this field here? Looks like sorghum. Yeah, that is sorghum. But you know what? We're just going to say nope to that. Purchase this, so what we're going to be doing today is getting these fields merged together. And then we'll start getting these fields prepped and merged together. Obviously we've still got our canola growing. And I think our next goal is going to be purchase 33 and 49. So come end of the year, we can have like one big massive field if we wish. But yeah, oof. yeah, windmill's 20 grand so we should be fine. And actually, how far is that? Has that just been planted, or what? Actually, that's going to be ready at the same time, so... That is a lovely jubbly. And yeah, I think... Actually, what? Let's get the windmill done, first of all, so... Because we've got the wrapper and that... We don't need this anymore. So yeah, we get 12 grand for that. And get rid of those. Also, things like the forks and that we can do with selling. So, go to our own tools. Yeah, I don't think we generally don't need those. We're not doing animals at the moment, so. Well, apart from chickens, so. I think we can sell these. There we go. So yeah, we're back up to 42 grand. And yeah, the production I'm looking for is under here. So yeah, input and output is going to be crucial, so... I'm thinking something like that. It's going to do a bit of terraform on site, but I'm not too worried. And actually, I'm thinking... If we're going to do silage again, why not use something like this? 
suits the era we're in, suits the whole theme, so I'm thinking why not? It pretty much makes the uh what's it? <laughs> Bell rapper useless. But you know what? Screw it, so another place you down here. And yep, I think let's get this terrain edited so better be just a sec. And there we go, so yep, a little bit of cheeky landscaping area and cost us what fifty euros and that. <laughs> In the way, so yep. Now we've got the windmill down. So we can put our crops in here. And already there's barley and that in here. Fair enough. Whoa. Where does all this barley come from? Huh? What the freak? Ah, wait a minute. Does it come from these silos? Must be, or something like that, or a weird. Yeah. You know what? I don't know what's going on. I'm going to leave the barley alone. Let's go and put the sorghum in. There we go, that's the sorghum going in. Actually, I think the barley makes sense, I think, because of it. Maybe close. Actually, I'm not sure if it's close proximity to the side, though, because I'm not sure which one's telling which, like... If you look at these, it says barley, 40, whatever, so thousand litres. Well, I don't know. But I think, you know what, let's just grab the wheat from the silos, and then we'll clear everything up, and yeah, maybe sell one of these silos. So yeah, I think what we need to do is get some proper silos in. Because yeah, I think having these close together is causing some issues of some sort, but... Honestly, you know what, I don't know. So there we go, got the wheat, and yeah, corrected the silo situation, so... But yeah, I'm producing flour now, and... Yeah, and also I think with the wheat and barley, we can also produce flour. That can get us some pig food. And I'm not sure what the price of pig food is. I'm not sure it even pops up on here, actually, thinking about it. Uh, nope. Actually, what I think instead, you know what? Since it doesn't pop up, no contracts at the moment. Let's go to our productions. And what we're going to do is set that to sell. So yeah, pig food we will be selling every hour, on the hour, every hour. So yeah, we should get some decent profits. But now, so... On to the creme de la creme, the goal of this episode. Let's get these fields merged together. So there we go, we've got the plow. Apologies there, I had a bit of a indigestion there, so yeah. Yeah, our plan's gonna be merging the fields together. And actually I'm thinking, at some point we'll merge these together. Then we'll merge these together. Along with these, so, cause yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, we still got the road up here, now we can access that. And worst case scenario, we still go up and then hook around. So yeah, like, if we purchase that, we're going to need another 57 grand. And with the pig food and that, we should be fine. So yeah, this is going to take a lot of work. And yeah, first of all, is just create that little field here. Uh, we accidentally deleted, so there we go. Turn on pre fields. So there we go. I'm thinking, what, do we. No, it's not due down here. I'm thinking here, where we've got the grass. This section here, so not. Screw it, let's do it. Don't know if they. Was it? 
adventure do game or something like that. But yeah, so let's just go and do that. So I'll hit that post. So yeah, overall it ain't gonna take us too long to get these fields merged together because there's only a couple of rows. And then yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is something like corn and that. Since I've we got the fermented silo and that. Because yeah, we do need a forge harvester. We do have that as an option, and there is another Class Jaguar, which is a late 80s, technically early 90s mod, but I think we can get away with it. So let's go and drop this down. Yeah, that's what I want is to accidentally plow up the road. Actually, do we plow the road? Alright, fair enough, we do plow the road, so... Yeah, that's got sorghum in ready. That's just been planted, so... I think, yeah, you know what, we'll just cultivate or direct draw over that. But yeah, I've got options in terms of what equipment we can use for the forage harvesting. And we're going to have the money by then, like things like our chicken eggs and that, our flour and that. So overall, I am not worried about, you know, where we're not going to be able to afford that. Because remember, as part of the rules of this series, we aren't going to lease. So, we're not leasing, we're just cheeky borrowing in terms with, we'll purchase it and turn it within the same month and that. And that way we get around with the whole no leasing rule. But yeah, I'm still thinking on as we go into the 1990s and that. I am still thinking about moving maps and that, I just do want to change this series up a little bit. Got some ideas, but as always, if you got any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. But yeah, anyways, it shouldn't take us too long, as mentioned before. Okay, but don't plow in that middle part because that is plowable, so just get on back and forth. So yeah, let's get this done. Should take us, what, a couple of hours to get this done? And then, I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. to August. We've let the windmill process. We stopped the barley now because yeah there is a little bit of a glitch with the barley but I stopped it around the rough amount we should have had so 
all in all, we got 50,000 years of flower because it's a. Honestly, I didn't realize it was such a high output in terms of speed and that. The speed of production and the amount of cycles per month. But yeah, so not only have we gone and plowed, as you can see, we have limed. We have extended all the fields. We couldn't merge every field together because uh, some of the roads were a bit. or some of the pathways were not able to be plowed. So, done the best I can. Oh yeah, we've done some contracts, so first of all let's see how much we'll get for the flower. Should be about forty grand, forty nine grand. Yep, yeah, forty eight thousand and three hundred. And yeah, we're doing some contracts. I've spent the morning doing two of them. So yeah, cultivating and harvest. So yeah, we're up to eighty four grand. And actually we do have enough money, funny enough. To purchase field 89. But yeah, so as you can see, we've gone and plowed everything. Even mer start merging these together and they will be merged. Also, I've gone and haven't fertilized yet. Nope. Needs plowing. All just needs to be doing is that field there, but, but we're not going to purchase it, I'm not sure. Liming is all done. And in terms of mulching, nearly forgot, yeah, nearly forgot about mulching, so go ahead and mulch the grass fields and that. Mulched A7. So yeah, really all that needs to do now is planting. Because yeah, I think we'll hold off on the purchases for now. So yeah, we'll go and grab the case. Uh, yep, yeah, so we need to grab the planter. But yeah, was that high output of the Great Mill? Tempted to go with something else with the crops and that, but I think corn is a good way to go. Worst case scenario, we can get corn flour out of it. But yeah, silage is good as well. Oh yeah, also I completely forgot in that episode when I mentioned about the size bells struggling to get in. Yeah, it turns out I had it here, not here, to trigger, so my bad. But anyways, let's go and grab some fertilizer. Should I don't know would be enough, we need more. So wait a minute, can we even open the covers? So there we go. Ah yeah, do I have any more fertilizer? Did the fertilizer herbicide seeds line? No, so... But to be honest, we should be fine. So yeah, let's go and close you. So yeah, this scan is going to take us a while. I am set to corn. So yeah, go on and merge everything together. May regret doing down here a bit, but you know what? Just go with it. So right, let's go and get you positioned. Ah, yeah. Turn the drill on. But yeah, once we get this bomb section sorted, everything else would be fine. But yeah, downside is the working speed is 6 miles an hour. Actually, is it 6 miles an hour? Or is it 7 or even more than that? So. Yep, yeah, 9 miles an hour. Oh, it's a guaranteed gearbox in this. I know what, swap you out. Let's go and grab the uh, Fiat sec. There we go, that's better. You're hitting like 8 miles an hour and that. And for this, this makes sense. 
does. We're only 10 horsepower over, but yeah, for some reason, it's like in so low revs now. Well, not new revs, but new gears now with the case now. So I thought, heck it. Let's just go and grab the Fiat. This has been such a reliable tool, and really the only thing the case is useful for is pulling heavy loads and, yeah, the cold vein, because we have a massive cold beer. But yeah, this is going to take a while, that is for sure. But yeah, overall, I am happy with what we're doing so far. We've got all the fields merged together. And yeah, I think I'll hold off purchasing field 89. You know, do have that contract completed. Because yeah, at the end of the day, I need the funds in the accounts. Because yeah, I reckon it ain't gonna get too much flour left. So yeah, sorghum. We'll get another... Yeah, two pallets worth of it. Because we're doing large pallets at the moment, so... That is, what, how much is flour going for at the moment? About a grand per thousand, so... Yeah, maybe another two grand and change in that we'll get. Oh, sorry, 10,000 years. Yeah, about 10 grand and change. So, yeah, that leaves us with 102 grand. Force Harvester and Header now, that's going to cost us... Actually, have a look now. I think it was like 60 odd grand. 60 grand. Plus the Header and that. So there's that one there. 3 meters, got to look at something else. 3 meters is way too short, but... Yeah, look at that Colossus Jaguar one and see... So I think with the class one, it's six meters we can do. So overall, not too bad. But yeah, I think you know what? That's what I'm gonna leave it today. So I know we've just been a bit rapid, just getting stuff done. And that. But yeah, I'm gonna try to keep these episodes a bit shorter and actually have good progression. So next time we will get is finished drilling and rolled. And then I think from there, actually I'm not sure, I'll figure out something. That's going to be a couple of days before the next episode comes out. So yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the channel, please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's from Evelyn Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.